Okay, everybody. Um, today I'm going to do basically five of the best lures. They're really every best fisherman needs to keep in his tackle box. These are just for ponds, lakes, fishing in general. Let's see. We're going to start off with frogs. I have two different frogs here, but either one works really good. We have a Booyah, Pad Crasher, and Cairo Frog. I believe that's how you say it. I'm not sure. But this is my favorite color of the frog. Really good frog here. And um, then we have Booyah Poppin' Pad Crusher. But basically, what I mean by this, I'm, I'm telling you the name of it. But this doesn't mean, well, this is the best bait for that. Just use whatever frog you like. Whatever. Go out there and test uh, many of frogs and see which ones you like best. And if you happen to like these best, well, good. If you happen to like another brand, well, that's good too. Whatever works best for you. These two are definitely my two favorites, though. So we're gonna set these off to the side. <clears throat> Next, any sort of crawl bait. We have uh, young crawl bugs here. And this is in a uh, watermelon red flake. And this is in a black and blue. These are two really good colors here for that. Any for crawls in general. You can rig these or with. Just any crawl in general is what I'm talking about. You can rig any crawl. One good way to rig it, though, and Texas rig works really good, but one way that is always provided fish for me is jig trailer on the back of the jig. These are really good baits to have during the fall, stuff like that. It's really good bait. They catch fish. Crawls catch fish. And these are two of my favorite crawls for more, like, finesse fishing tactics. Next... Any type of stick bait. These happen to be yum dingers because I prefer them over Senkos and um, Big Bite Wacky Sticks because they're more durable and they're just as salty and as uh, flexible as the Senkos. So I really prefer these because they last longer. But stick baits catch fish. They catch a lot of fish. And um, after I finish with all the lures, I'm going to tell y'all what setup I fish these on. Next is a lipless crankbait. This happens to be a um, Bass Pro tournament special. It's just a real cheap crank, um, lipless crankbait. But whenever I got it, I was just needing it for something really quick. But after I started fishing with it, I liked these just as good as I did the um, rattle traps. But the only thing that I didn't like so much about them, they didn't have the same type of rattle. That's okay. They still work really good. They have really sharp hooks to be something from Bass Pro. I was really impressed with this lure. Let me set that off the side. Next is a square bill. You're, this happens to be a Norman. This is a Norman um, square bill. I don't know the name of it. Top view of it. Side. Norman makes really good square bill, but uh, square bills work really good in general for like summertime up by docks. We're at the same place you're going to be flipping and pitching stuff. Um, Tossing frogs, that kind of area. Or not back in heavy cover, like an open water frog tossing. Stuff like that. Around heavy cover where you can bounce it off. Square bills produce a lot of fish too. Now we're going to get back to rigging tactics. For frogs here. For frogs, I like to use a anywhere from a medium heavy to a heavy 7 foot pole with 60 pound braid on it. I use 50 most of the time, but 60 pound braid for heavy cover and 50 for um, less heavy cover. But I'd go as low as 30 or 20. That really, but the setup I'm talking about really produces the most fish I talk about. Most fish that I catch. So, and you can really pull fish out of heavy cover with that. You don't have to be worried about breaking off. Next. For the um, any type of crawl bait, and this has two categories to it. For this type of crawl bait here, more finesse style, I like to use a um, six and a half foot spinning reel with fast action tip, and I like to have that medium with about eight pound fluorocarbon on. It works really good. I produce a lot of fish with these. But now we're gonna go back to flipping and pitching um, with these on the back of the jig. But not this bait, like, um, crawl bait, like, um, 
like a raised tail curl, stuff like that. With that, I like to use the same setup with the frogs, but with about 20 pound fluorocarbon. Next is the lipless crankbait. I like to use about a 7 foot um, bait caster rigged with 12 pound monofilament on it. 12 pound monofilament or fluorocarbon. If I'm going to do monofilament, I like to do about a 5 foot liter on it of fluorocarbon. You get a lot of action out of these with the lighter line, so it works a lot better. Basically, the same thing with these, but I'd go as high as 15 or 20 because there's a lot of stuff to get broken off on down there. Next would be the um, Yum Dingers, any type of stick bait. And I'd go with the same setup as I go with my um, finesse curls. These produce a lot of fish. I mean, you can have... 200 100 fish days when you fish stick baits they're not going to be giant fish sometimes they will be but most often they'll be anywhere from a half pound to a pound and a half size fish that's it for today um if you like this video yeah um, subscribe hit like on the video if you have any more ideas comment below and let's see join our facebook page freshwater usa that's it for today.